Alright guys, so announcement time. Uh, there have been some changes to the Echo Fox roster. Basically the TLDR is that um, Rush has been dropped. We spoke to Rush yesterday and there have been a lot of conversations that Echo Fox have had with him privately to inform him. Now we just wanted to make sure that everyone is informed together so that you hear it from us and you don't hear it from you know, outside sources and whatnot. But uh, basically after talking to Rush, um, we spoke about potential options and just the end result was that he didn't want to play in academy and so out of respect to him uh, we're going to drop him immediately as he requested and so if you guys have any questions just uh, let me know. Uh, Rush Living is really sad because uh, we were like, talking, talking a lot even before the spring start. We were like okay let's cheer up each other and but it's you know the things happen and that's his decision, so i supporting him. If he can get him, I think he will play really well on other team. Echo Fox was always looking for improvement, and I met with the coaching staff, and we came to the final um, assessment that we needed a player or players that are going to be more communicative on the Rift. On my end, for any updates that I have for you guys is that I'm getting on a call with um, Liquid at 11. It was difficult for the coaching staff and I to find a player who met that criteria. We found one player who, who was a good fit and that player was Mike Young. Joining Aquapox is definitely a good opportunity for me because like, I can show like, how much I've improved in the last year that I've been spending my time with Liquid at MSI and all the things that I learned before that on TSM as well. And just like, I feel like I'm such a different player now that I just really want to show it on stage rather than people judging me from my past performances. Let's go say hi to Song. Hey Song. Hey, hey, oh. Hello. Hey. Welcome. Mike Young. We got a jungler. Uh, I'm pretty excited to work with Michael again. I know uh, on P1 I worked with him in the past, so I worked with him a lot on TSM. I know a lot about his strengths and his weaknesses, and we feel like we needed uh, a change in the roster that could uh, both be long-term and potentially short-term as well. Um, I know Michael has um, a lot of strengths that he could bring to this roster from working with him in the past, and, and Song has mentioned that as well. And on top of that, he's a talent that we want to invest in because uh, he's always been on the cusp of greatness and the cusp of being an LCS. And uh, we feel like with this roster and with this team and, and under this coaching staff and this org, we feel like we can, we can bring him there and take him to that next step. I like Mike Young because he always focuses really hard whenever he screams or whenever he like solo queue. So he kind of gives, gives us like more power to our team. Mike definitely talks a lot more than other people because he just likes to play around like his jungle clear and then he likes to make macro plays based on that. Um, we, get, we get fucking cheese. We don't cheese oh, as much. Actually, I always cheese. I always die level one anyways. So. We, we, never, we never like <laughs> we cheese on the like, and, 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 and I never ask for a remake. Or most of them yeah. ask for a remake. Usually like, we, we, we like, you know, win a game and they're like remake, but we're like, we play it out, you know? But it's just always nice to have kind of a fresh face. Um, it's, or like a new perspective. It's just, yeah, it's a little refreshing. You, you everyone's gonna have their own opinions, right? And we've kind of like, almost like established our own opinions as a team. And so for someone that comes from like a different team, maybe can, you know, even argue like a better team comes over and shares things. It's like, you know, it's, it just like brings up more discussions, brings up more conflict, but like not in a bad way. Initially, I think he's really good. He brings like a lot to the team in terms of vocal and like shot calling. Um, but yeah, I think he's performed really well, and even even though we lost our two first games, I still felt felt like it was like we're you know we're heading in the right direction. Well, playing with the guys was just really really fun for the first few times because it was just like new new team environment. You know, you get to learn more about each one of your laners and how they would play, and I guess like that's always really interesting for me because jumping from old team to new team, I get to learn more about how this team does a review, how this team does early game, mid game, and what their strengths and weaknesses are. And so far it's been going really well. Colin, do you follow Alex Jones? Should I? Wait, isn't Alex Jones that's like crazy he's, guy? He's a really crazy 
I love seeing his I mean, I mean, this is the one where he just chases the guy down. <laughs> yeah. like, hey, 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 you have fucking problems. <laughs> that was so good. The guy's response was so good. Saturday's game versus FlyQuest. I mean, anytime you have like new roster, I guess, or any kind of changes, it's usually like pretty slow on stage, like the first time. And I think that game was like a lot of it too. And this Mike's first game, like coming back to stage, so it's not like super surprising that we weren't able to really get into kind of any early game pressure. <laughs> Turtles, the gatekeeper right now, holding off their pathway back to their own base as Poe Belter just shoots rockets from the side. And they're not committing to running to the right-hand side. They're giving more space for Flyquist to come over. This is going to be a complete whitewash here as Echo Fox is still stuck in the corner. And now Viper is here. This is assuredly going to be a win for Flyquest. Five on four, stuck in the corner. Fox now willing to go forward. Here comes the dive. Cannon over the top. One for zero. Make it two. Oh! Make it three. Refuse to run and instead they die and Baron will go to FlyQuest. I think this weekend was just like us not playing our comps properly. Like both days we drafted pretty strong team fight comps, but we didn't force 5v5s when we had leads or like power spikes. So eventually we got outscaled or like lost a single team fight and just lost the game off it. Even with Sivir, even with Noddle, it's not gonna happen. There's the anchor forwards, but Viper has the old protobots forward. One kill, make it a second. Solo can't do enough flashes, but not to safety. And three kills already, and Evan are falling. Make it a fourth as well. That's gonna be the win. FlyQuest will indeed take Nanaga Fox and they will tie for ninth. They begin to claw their way back up the standings. Yeah, Sunday versus GGS uh, was a little bit better. I mean, people think like, after losing versus FlyQuest, I don't know, a little bit of pressure is off. Um, so I think we're, we're, everyone was a little bit lo more loose for GGS. They will get that kill, and they should grab this dragon for themselves as well. Golden Guardians out to a very strong early start. I'm just amazed. And like for steal. That's nice, nice, dude. Really wow, good. you're smurfing. I'm basing. Nice shot, Mike. Yeah, I mean, that game was looking good for the most part. I think it was just like a lot of small mistakes that added up, I mean, like not taking the Infernal when we had the chance, even like pulling off the Baron when we probably could have like finished it. It was just like a lot of small mistakes that ended up like costing us a lot. That's one Q, half of Apollo's health. Find some Q poke, FBI's nearby as well, but no way to save people who be back on the map. And the health bars get low and Hans are spreading them apart. 4,000 health, keep in mind, there is a smite advantage for Mike Young. They should be able to commit, but they're not going. Hakuo, is it gonna ult? He's gonna find the engage. They're going over the wall, looking for the team fight. And it's gonna be a shut down on the Velkaz already. One for zero, Phoenix finds a knockout of two. FBI gonna pop a stopwatch by a few seconds, but there is Walker not the a way out. They should be able to kill him, but he's not dying yet. He finally goes down, and his haunts are set it up. He does, they're so it's low. going to. The stopwatch, he burns him with the ultimate. And now it's Mike Young with nowhere to go. He will get shut down as well, and Golden Guardians do indeed turn it around. And the chase is in for Solo. Gets the shield, but it's not going to be enough. Now Mike Young chased down, also dropped. That's going to be the ace. That's going to be every single kill they need. And Golden Guardians will find their fifth win. They will crush the Nexus turrets, and they will take down Echo Fox. Scrims went really well. Like some days we actually like just went undefeated against the other LCS teams. And then we even played against some top teams as well. And we would either beat them in most of the blocks or just like go even. It kind of sucks to lose even after doing so well in practice and meshing really well. So I guess we'll just have to see for next week. I, I don't really think one or two games really shows too much about a team, especially a new team. So I'm hoping for an even better, you know, weekend next next time around. I misunderstood, um, you know, how LCS works. <laughs> to be honest, uh. it's so different from scrims because people play so slow. Yeah. It's really insane. People are a lot slower, and they also just they just won't fight. Yeah. Uh, unless you like really punish them, but like in scrims, it's like they're just fighting all the time. Yeah. So definitely, probably slow down the pace by like one two minutes, and then we'll be like good. Because yeah, we were like speeding up the pace by like one, two minutes because um, that's how we do it in scrims, you know, so we're used to it. So it kind of just sucks because like practice was going so well, nothing was really wrong. And yeah, I guess just play more focused. I mean, we're going to have to play the next four weeks regardless of what our record is. So it's better to 
at least be trying to win um, and enjoying it than to just be miserable about our spot and, and losing. Because like the position in, we're in, we'll try to worry less about like winning directly and more so just about playing like really well. I mean, we're just gonna keep playing. Like our record's already bad, so we just gotta keep trying to win. I mean, we're pro, pro players, so like we just wanna win. So even if we're like on a loss streak, we know like eventually we'll get our win and then we can go on from there. Basically, we're just gonna, every weekend we show up on Saturday and we're just one be wanting these people for honor because they beat us last time yeah. and we're gonna yeah. shit on them. Like we need, to, oh, yeah, yeah, we need to prove that we're still better than them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Every time. One one by one. Yeah. And then slowly we'll break and all then of their slowly we'll... <laughs> <laughs> We're not it's not about getting to playoffs, it's about breaking an enemy chest. Yes. Yeah, that is our goal. Exactly. <laughs> just yeah, looking for this way yeah. over there. We want all of them to lose. <laughs>